to come on give God some glory this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and give God some glory this morning. Amen. I'm going to ask if you're able to, to please stand. If you're able to, please stand. Please stand this morning. Amen. So good to have you in the house of worship one more time. Amen. We realize it could have been another way, amen, that we didn't have to be here this morning, but God saw fit for us to be this morning. But because of that, we ought to praise his name, give him glory, say thank you, God, for another day's journey, amen. Amen. Listen, I was um, I was thinking about something this morning. Uh, how many of y'all watched the, the Mike Tyson and Jake Paul fight Friday night? Y'all watch that? Y'all watch that? I fell asleep on it, amen. I tried, but I couldn't do it. It was a little bit late for me. But when I got up Saturday morning, all I kept seeing was people talk about how much problem they had getting onto Netflix, how it was buffering and crashing and things of that nature. But, but you know what? They persisted, right? They kept trying and kept trying until they were able to log in and to see the fight. And I took that two things. I said, you know what? No matter how much uh, Netflix kept failing them, uh, they kept on trying to get in to watch the fight. But why is it the first time we think that God does not show up the way we want him to, when we want him to, how we want him to, we give up. We've got to have that same persistence in trying to reach God in our tough times that no matter that, even if God chooses not to do it now, know that God can and God will. Amen. So that was the first thing I said. Well, the second thing I took from it, I said, you know what? It, uh, Netflix was crushing because so many people were trying to get to it. What would happen if every saint of God would try to bombard heaven in the same way that the people tried to bombard Netflix to watch that fight? Do you know that we will see a mighty move of God like we've never seen before if we all just reach in and tap in and push in to try and connect to God? God would be pleased. And guess what? Heaven's not going to fail. Amen. Uh, heaven's not going to crash. Amen. Uh, heaven's not going to buffer. Amen. In fact, heaven's going to respond. Amen. So with that same persistence you had trying to watch the fight on Friday night, have that same persistence trying to connect to God. Amen? Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Father, we thank you this morning, oh God. Uh, God, we give you honor, glory, and praise, oh God, for another day's journey, oh God. But God, we realize had it not been for you on our side, oh God, uh, had it not been for you to woke us up this morning, Father God, uh, that we would not be here on today, Father God. Uh, because, God, we realize that you love us so much, oh God. Uh, we pause now, God, to say thank you, God, uh, for another day's journey. Uh, to say thank you, God, uh, for your grace and your mercy. Uh, to say thank you, God, uh, for loving us so much, oh God, uh, that you woke us up from our sleep this morning, oh God, uh, and allowed us to be here on this morning, Father God. Uh, God, we may not feel our best in our physical body this morning, oh God, but our spirit man is leaving this morning, Father God, to say thank you, God, uh, to praise your name, God, uh, to lift your name on high, oh God, uh, and to give you all the glory, oh God. Uh, God, be thank you for being a God of provision, oh God, uh, that when we got up this morning, oh God, uh, we had food to put in our stomachs, oh God, uh, clothes to put on our back, oh God, uh, and a choice of shoes to put on our feet, oh God. Uh, God, you promised to never leave us uh, or for Take us, oh God. And every day that we wake up, oh God, you show up and do what you said you would do, oh God. And so this morning, God, we praise you to give your name glory, oh God. We want to lift you on high this morning, oh God. We want to put the name of Jesus up on display, oh God, and have the joy and power draw all men and women unto him, Father God. Because the word says that I be lifted up, oh God. And so we stand this morning, oh God, to lift up the name of Jesus, oh God. Not our name, oh God. Not the name of the president, oh God. Not the name of the governor or the mayor, oh God. But to lift up the name of Jesus, oh God. Realizing, God, that when Jesus is in his rightful place, oh God, everything's going to be all right, oh God. We have not to worry, oh God. We have not to fret, oh God. We have not to be afraid, oh God. Because Jesus still sits high and looks low and takes care of all of us, oh God. And so we come here on Sunday morning, God, to, to give your name praise, oh God. Uh, we're in this sacred place called Sanctuary uh, to lift you up, oh God. Uh, and it say rain down and shower down, Holy Spirit. Uh, have your way in this place on today, oh, and to move, oh God, from seat to seat and row to row and heart to heart and show yourself strong and mighty, oh God, to do, oh God, uh, what only you can do, oh God. 
We praise your name, God. We bless your name, God. We lift your name on high today, Father God. We give you all honor, glory, and praise in this we pray. In your son Jesus' name, amen. Come on and put those hands together in this place. Come on and put those hands together in this place. Good morning, New Destiny. Are you doing all right this morning? Well, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Say, neighbor. God's got a blessing with your name on it. Now, if you believe it, go ahead and give him a hand clap of praise in here. Come on and clap your hands with me just like this. see you through. So hold your head up, put a smile on your face. It's just another test. It won't last always to get ready, get ready. for your blessing. For your blessing. Get, ready. get ready for your miracle. For your miracle. Get, ready. get ready for your blessing. For your blessing. Get ready. For your, miracle. For your miracle, I know you've been hurting deep down inside, but let me encourage you, it's going to be all right. Troubles and trials come to make you strong. Keep on believing and just keep on holding on. So get ready, get ready. for your blessing, for your blessing. get ready. For your miracle, for your miracle. Oh, get, ready. get ready for your blessing. For your blessing. Oh, get, ready. get ready for your miracle. For your miracle. God's, got God's got a blessing. If you believe it is born, and God's got a blessing. You ought to believe God's got a blessing. Whoa. God's got a blessing. Come on and let's lift it up as a family. Oh, God's got a blessing. 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 With your name on it. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. With your name on it. With your name on it. With your name on it. You ought to believe that you got a blessing on the way. You ought to believe you got a blessing on the way. You ought to believe you got a blessing on the way. With your name on it. Look at yourself. With my name on it. You ought to say with my name on it. Oh, with my name on it. I believe. I receive. with your name on it. Come on and act like you already got it in front of you. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it. Sometimes when it don't seem like it, you need to say, he's going to do it. 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 Oh. I know my blessing is on the way because I done spent some time in the prayer room. I done spent some time praying to the man that I call Jesus, the man that I call father, the man that I call mother, the man that I call friend, the man that I call doctor. The man that I call my protector, my everything, my all in all. So if you can attest to it, 
Wave your hands this morning and say, thank you, Jesus. I want to see you put your hands together with us like this. Come on. Song. I know y'all done probably heard it, so since you heard it, come on and help me sing. Oh, come on in the room. Clap your hands with me. Now, if you know that your blessing is on the way, you ought to attest to it that all you got to do is go down in the room. All you got to do is go to Jesus and say, come on in the room. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And he gave good God. Stay right there. I said in the prayer. In the prayer. In the prayer. In the prayer. When I went down, down in the room. When I went down, down in the room. Said I found my joy, said I found my peace, said I found my joy, said I found my peace, said I found my joy, said I found my peace, said I found my deliverance. I said down in the room, I said down in the room, I said down in the room, look up towards heaven, go to Jesus, heal my body, heal my body, heal my body. Anybody can sing, anybody can sing, and you thought you could, could get it well. All you had to do was call, call on Dr. Jesus, call on Dr. Jesus, call on Dr. 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 In the prayer room, in the prayer, in the prayer, in the prayer, I need him. Yeah, I need him. Yeah, I need him. Just keep the Lord. Just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. He is the Lord. Just keep on praying. Jesus, help me live Jesus, help me live Jesus, 
I wonder who 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 will help me live Jesus will help me live Jesus come on will help me live Jesus said I wonder who can help me live Jesus I wonder who can help me live Jesus when I think of all all he done when I think of all all he done it'll make me want to sound 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 stop stop the stop the stop stop the stop stop the stop the sound make me want to sound I wonder who 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 gonna have me live Jesus I wonder who gonna have to live Jesus on the Monday. I'm gonna live Jesus on the Tuesday. I'm gonna live Jesus on the Wednesday, on the Thursday, on the Friday, on the Friday. I got two more days. I got two more days. I got two more days to tell you good how I've been. To tell you how good he's been. I wonder who, I wonder who, I wonder who, I wonder who gonna help me live, gonna help me live. I wonder, can you help me? I wonder, can you help me? Can you help me this, this morning? Can you help me, help me this morning? Whoa, I wonder who, I wonder who, I don't know about you. But I feel pretty good in this house this morning. I don't know about you, but I feel pretty good. Cause I know we've been good. I know we've been kind. I know we've been good. I know we've been kind. Anybody know we've been kind? 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 to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you glory on today. We pray, oh God, that your word will speak to us now and lift us up, God. Let somebody like be changed forever. We thank you to do what only you can do now. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your heart say amen. Say amen. Say amen one more time. 
Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And I tell them, good morning, 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 good morning. Amen. In the book of Job, in the book of Job, in the book of Job, amen, chapter 14, amen. Would you, would you, would you help me uh, just thank Reverend Corey Drake, say amen, amen, for standing in the gap on, on last Sunday, amen. Come on, come on, amen, amen. What a, what a, what a gift, what a gift uh, to the body of Christ and what a gift uh, to New Destiny Church, amen. 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 Thank you, sir, for standing in the gap on last Sunday. Amen. In the book of Job, Job chapter 14, beginning uh, at verse 7 to verse 9, your Bible says, New King James Version says, For there is hope for a tree, if it be cut down, that it will sprout again, and its tender shoots will not cease. Though its roots may grow old in the earth, and its stump may die in the ground, yet at the scent of water, it will bud and bring forth branches like a plant. Amen. Do me a favor. Look at them. Say, hey, neighbor, it's going to take more than that. Now, say it with some attitude. It's going to take more than that to take me out. Amen. It's going to take more than that to take me out. Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. It's going to take more than that to take me out. Amen. One of the things that you should never underestimate is the resolve of a child of God. Often we take for granted people who sit next to us, who watch with us, and in, who are in our immediate circle. And often uh, we have no idea uh, of what they have had to overcome. There are people in this room right now uh, who've gone through things that could have killed them. Amen. Uh, there are things that, that, that have happened uh, to people in this room right now uh, that could have caused them uh, to lose their mind. Amen. But the testimony this morning is uh, that you have blood in your veins uh, and you have yet survived uh, everything that has tried to take you out. Amen. Uh, people in this room, people in this sanctuary, people who are watching online uh, have endured things that people said uh, you would never come back from. And if the truth be told, uh, we are here today uh, because because we have endured a process believing that in the midst of it, that any given moment, that God would turn it in my favor. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, God will turn it in your favor. And so it's important, particularly when you think about uh, 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 the process of going through uh, to look at a story like Job because it, it is uh, no secret to, to any of us uh, that what makes Job's story uh, so fascinating is uh, that God uh, offers Job up. Lord have mercy. In essence, uh, the revelation here is that uh, God saw something in Job that he was willing to put his reputation uh, on the line and say, if anybody uh, will go through uh, and give me glory, it would be him. And so uh, the real question uh, that emerges out of the text like this is, uh, can God trust you uh, with trouble? My God, uh, can God trust you uh, to represent him, uh, to give him glory, uh, to show people uh, what going through, uh, what it looks like uh, when you come out of what you're going through uh, with your hands up? Uh, but not only coming out uh, with your hands up, uh, but will you give God glory uh, while uh, you're still in it? When you, when you think about everything uh, that Job had experienced, all uh, the disappointment, all uh, the setbacks, uh, we find out uh, at the end uh, that Job uh, is still standing. Uh, say, neighbor, I'm going to talk to you all service. Say, neighbor, uh, I have gone through a lot of things, uh, but the testimony this morning uh, is that I'm still uh, standing. Oh, somebody ought to catch them. Uh, say, say, neighbor. 
babe, uh, you can't even imagine uh, what I've had to go through, uh, what I had to experience. Uh, but the testimony uh, is that I'm still standing. And so, and so the reason uh, I'm preaching this word today is because uh, some of you don't realize uh, how strong you really are. Uh, see, God sees in you uh, what you have yet to see in yourself. Through all uh, the challenges, uh, through all of the attacks, uh, he, it is clear uh, that it's going to take more than what you've gone through uh, to take you out. Uh, here it is. Uh, you got the enemy so confused uh, this morning. Morning, huh? You're sitting up in here. Huh? You're watching me online. Huh? And you're looking like huh? you ain't even been through nothing. Huh? It is. Huh? You praising God this morning huh? like you ain't never been through nothing. Huh? You got the enemy this morning huh? scratching his head saying, huh? after everything huh? I've thrown at you, huh? I, 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 I can't uh, believe huh? you still lifting your hands huh? and giving God glory. After everything Everything uh, you gone through, I can't believe uh, you still showing up, uh, looking that good. Uh, what's wrong with you? Uh, but you want to tell the enemy on today uh, when you threw your best shot, uh, you underestimated uh, the power uh, of my resilience. And so Job, Job in the text, he 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 likens himself, Tanya, uh, to a tree. Uh, and it's very interesting because when you look at it, uh, Job in this particular text says, If a tree uh, be cut down, uh, the roots wax old uh, in the earth, uh, and the tree uh, will come back yet again uh, at the center of water. Don't miss that right. So it's important to see this because uh, God is sending this word uh, into somebody's life to help you understand uh, that even when the enemy thinks uh, that it's over, uh, even when the enemy thinks uh, you won't bounce back, uh, God will give you uh, an anointing uh, to bounce back. There are people uh, who are in this room today uh, who will testify uh, People uh, wrote me off. Uh, people prophesied uh, my death, doom, uh, and demise. Uh, but God uh, gave uh, me a bounce back. Uh, I, I, I said, neighbor, uh, turn it to another. Say, neighbor, uh, God gave uh, me a bounce back. Uh, they tried to bury me. Uh, they tried to write my eulogy. Uh, but they don't know uh, that God is my father. Uh, and he gave uh, me a bounce back. And today I want you to hear this because I need you to be encouraged and to hear this because uh, God's about to release this word uh, into your life today, people of God. Uh, the book of Job is incredibly powerful. You ought to read it from first chapter to the 42nd. Uh, it's one of the oldest books in the, the Bible. It is written during a time when, when God's people uh, were experiencing uh, the Babylonian exile. Uh, when the elite in Jerusalem uh, were taken captive uh, along with all the other people. And everything uh, that they held sacred uh, had been taken from them, uh, had been snatched from them. Uh, and now they are displaced uh, from their homeland. And, and so what makes this story uh, so interesting is that when you look Look at him uh, from the backdrop. Uh, we get a chance to see and reflect upon uh, the existential crisis uh, that perhaps all of us uh, will experience. Uh, so it helps us to understand uh, how suffering uh, impacts uh, God's people. Here it is. If you haven't uh, had any suffering, uh, just hold on uh, a little while longer. Uh, some of you, uh, you are going into suffering. Uh, some of you, uh, you are in suffering right now, and, and some of you uh, have just come out of trouble. Uh, but one thing for sure, uh, if you keep on living, uh, you're going to have some suffering uh, in your life. And so here it is, uh, this story of Job just uh, pops off the page at us. Now we look at a person uh, who's gone through incredible trauma, uh, he's gone through incredible trial, uh, and yet here it is, here it is, here it is, uh, he demonstrates uh, immense faith uh, 
in a time of trouble uh, and tribulation. Uh, what grabs me in the text is, here it is, uh, uh, Job uh, is wealthy uh, and Job is righteous uh, at the same time. Amen. Uh, here it is. Uh, Job uh, got plenty drip, uh, but here it is. Job uh, know how to worship God uh, at the same time. And now some of y'all, uh, you don't know what drip is. Here it is. Go ahead and ask somebody uh, what a drip. Amen. Uh, here it is. Uh, Job uh, got cars, uh, clothes, uh, and money, uh, but Job come to church uh, and worship God uh, at the same time. Uh, some of you uh, get blessed uh, and forget where your blessing uh, come from, uh, but here it is. Uh, when the blessing of God uh, is on your life, uh, you got to come uh, and worship the one uh, that gave it to you. And here it is. Job is incredibly righteous, but also incredibly wealthy. To the degree, here it is, uh, that God brags on Job. Job, here it is, uh, he's righteous, uh, he's wealthy, uh, he's living his best life. Uh, and the Bible says uh, there's a conversation going on. The Bible says uh, that the devil, uh, the enemy, uh, Lucifer, uh, he's moving uh, up and down the earth, uh, uh, going to and fro. And God says, uh, here it is, uh, devil, uh, where are you going? He says, I'm uh, looking for somebody uh, that I can pounce on. I'm uh, looking for somebody uh, who I can uh, devour. And unbeknownst uh, to Job, uh, he's minding his own business. Uh, God says, is, uh, have you considered uh, my servant Job? God is offering uh, Job up uh, without Job uh, having any knowledge uh, that his destiny uh, is being discussed. Uh, you would think, Gwen, uh, that God will consult Job saying, uh, now I'm getting ready uh, to offer you up to Satan. Uh, you would think in your own life uh, that God would at least told you, uh, gave you warning uh, that he was getting ready uh, to offer you up. Uh, but the reason why uh, God didn't tell you uh, is because God uh, is sovereign. And uh, the devil says, uh, I thought about Job. I thought about Quinn. I thought about Ursi. Uh, but the reason why I didn't go after them because you got a hedge uh, of protection around them. Uh, Y'all didn't shout, uh, let me give you 30 seconds uh, to give God glory right now because uh, the reason why uh, a lot of stuff uh, didn't take you out uh, is because God uh, had a hedge uh, of protection around you. Oh, y'all don't, don't get it? Uh, here it is. Uh, the, uh, the reason why uh, the enemy couldn't come in uh, and do what he wanted to do uh, is because God blocked it uh, and he wouldn't let it be so. Uh, or you ought to shout this morning uh, that it is uh, the plan uh, of the enemy uh, did not prosper in your life. But the devil says, but I'll tell you what, if you remove the hedge from around him, and let me go in and assault him, uh, I'll show you uh, there's nothing to his faith. Uh, here it is. Uh, who wouldn't trust you when they got a traffic jam and they drive away? Who wouldn't trust you uh, when they got a department store in their closet? Y'all quiet. Amen. Uh, some of you, uh, some of you women, uh, you got more shoes uh, than you can count. Amen. Y'all quiet up in here. Uh, you go home and just kick your shoes uh, in the closet. Amen. Uh, you got shoes in one room, uh, shoes in another. I mean, uh, who wouldn't praise God uh, like that? Who wouldn't uh, praise God uh, when everything in their life uh, is peaches and cream? But, but Satan says, I, I, I guarantee you, if you let me go in uh, and attack him, uh, here it is, uh, I'll, he will curse you uh, to your face. And God says, I tell you what, uh, I will allow, that's a good place to shout, amen, uh, that the devil can't do anything to you, uh, that God... Uh, 
man, I'm going to find me a church uh, on next Sunday. I say, uh, that he it is. Uh, God says uh, to the devil, uh, I will allow it. Uh, that's a good place to shop because uh, the enemy can't do anything to you uh, unless God allows it. Here it is. And, and God said, I tell you what, I'm going to allow it, but you can't take his life because that belonged to me. That's another 30 second shout because here it is. Because no matter uh, what the enemy does, uh, you ought to shout uh, that my life uh, is in the hands uh, of God. Oh, I told the people uh, at 9 30 prayer, uh, it don't matter uh, who in the house, uh, who in the white house, uh, who in the black house, uh, who in your house, uh, my life uh, is in the hands of God. Oh, people of God, that is on that day that Job is minding his own business. And one messenger came and said, Brother Job, I was watching your livestock. And all of a sudden, all of it just, all of them just start falling dead. And then the Bible gets more intense throughout the book of Job because it is uh, all the gold. All of Job's children uh, were sitting around uh, when a mysterious wind uh, came and, and swept his children, uh, killed his children. Uh, not one of them survived. Now, here it is. Uh, all of his livestock is dead. Uh, all of his children uh, are dead. And now, uh, to add insult to injury, uh, Job is uh, afflicted uh, with this horrendous disease. I mean, uh, here it is. Uh, he has sores uh, all over his body. In the Bible the days, uh, it would be diagnosed as what is called uh, leprosy. Uh, when you got boils uh, all over your body and uh, those boils uh, are leaking pulse and it will not stop. So, it, so it's excruciating that if you try to pull the sheets uh, from Job it would, uh, it would rip uh, his skin uh, off of his body. Amen. Uh, can you imagine uh, Job sitting there? Uh, he's in his excruciating pain, uh, having lost his children, uh, having lost all of his uh, possessions, uh, and now he's sitting there, uh, and the woman he married, uh, his wife says, uh, it's a good time uh, for you to give up on your God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, it is, uh, he, she says it's a good time uh, for you to curse God uh, and die. Uh, it is, she, she says, uh, uh, you've been trusting God. Uh, you've been faithful to God. Uh, and look uh, at what God has allowed in your life. I'm talking to somebody right now. Amen. Uh, it is, but it is, uh, it is not only that, uh, the bras show up. Ill fast and build the dead and so far say, bro, uh, what have you done? He said, uh, you had to do something uh, for God to put you uh, in a situation like this. Uh, but in the midst uh, of all of the craziness, uh, Job uh, maintains uh, his resilience uh, and his trust in God. Uh, and God shows us uh, it's going to take more uh, than what I'm going through uh, to take me out. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, I'm like a tree. Uh, and if a tree be cut down, uh, guess what? Uh, don't give up on me uh, because God uh, is not done with me, with me yet. And so I'm here today to help you to understand people of God because all of us are going to walk through a crisis. All of us go have some acute pain. And I want to help you understand uh, how to navigate that terrain. Amen. And so uh, uh, the first point I, I want to give you today is uh, the power uh, of self-realization. Uh, because uh, one of the most important things uh, you will learn is uh, the moment you discover uh, who you are, uh, it's the moment uh, you can make it uh, through any given situation. Lord, have mercy. Uh, let me say it again. Uh, the moment uh, you discover uh, who you are, uh, it's the moment you know how, how to make it through any situation. Uh, when you know who you are uh, and you know who uh, 
you belong to, uh, you are able to make it uh, through any situation. You know uh, it, you might be down today, uh, but your God is able uh, to lift you up uh, and bring you back uh, better than you've ever been. And so in the text, Reverend Corey, Job likens himself to a tree. He says, if a tree be cut down, huh, it'll come back. Watch this here. This ain't the first time that we heard of a tree. Amen. Psalms number one, the Bible says uh, we should be like trees uh, planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit and a seed and its leaves uh, shall not wither. Uh, Isaiah 61 uh, verse 3 says uh, we shall be called trees uh, of righteousness. In other words, uh, there is a connection between uh, a tree uh, and a believer's strength. Here it is. Uh, and so the, the first thing, let me break it down. Here's this. Somebody shout, I can't help that I stand out. You ain't said with no attitude, but that's okay. Amen. Uh, I, 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 I can't help uh, that I stand out. Amen. Uh, uh, just whisper that to your neighbor. Say, neighbor, uh, I, I can't help uh, that I stand out. Amen. Say, I, I, every room I go in, uh, people looking at me crazy, uh, rolling uh, their eyes. Uh, they don't even know me. Uh, they haven't even asked me uh, my name because, you know why? Because they know uh, that I am a tree. And here it is. Uh, when you understand uh, that you are a tree, uh, stop trying to dumb it down uh, your treeness uh, to accommodate people uh, who are in uh, the bushes. Amen. Uh, you got to walk in uh, and just own the fact uh, that baby, uh, I'm a tree. Uh, like it or not, uh, I'm a tree. Uh, and I don't have time uh, to deal uh, with your bushness. Uh, and here it is. Uh, the reason why uh, your treeness uh, intimidates them because uh, it brings about their own insecurity. It is, uh, it is, uh, because it is, uh, they cannot control uh, your stature. Amen. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? I I'm saying uh, people uh, can only, uh, can only associate uh, with you uh, when they can limit uh, and contain uh, your level of growth you have. Uh, but what's got them messed up uh, is the relationship uh, has changed uh, because you are no longer uh, under their control. Uh, God is taking Taking you uh, to new heights. Uh, here it is. Taking you uh, to things uh, you dream about. I mean, here it is. Uh, they could control you uh, down here. Uh, but now that you up here, uh, it's blowing their mind. Uh, but, you have, but, but, but you got to remind them. Here it is. Uh, here, here it is. Uh, take that up with God. Because uh, God uh, is the one that elevated me. Uh, if you got a problem uh, with seeing me up here, uh, take that up. Uh, with God. Uh, I ain't got no problem uh, with how God chooses uh, to bless me. Uh, because where I am, uh, God brought me. Uh, what I know, uh, God taught me. Uh, what I have, uh, God is the one uh, that gave it to me. Talk, Quinn. Talk, Quinn. Talk, 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 talk. Some people will have a problem with the statue you have but then the other thing I found out here that some people uh, have a problem that they can't control your season. <laughs> Are y'all writing? Oh, y'all right. It's good stuff right here. Amen. Uh, some people uh, like to divvy out uh, 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 the time in which uh, you get blessed. Amen. Uh, it is uh, that they try to use as some kind of trump card uh, to, to, to say I'm going to hold back uh, your blessing or I'm going to hold back uh, your check. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, my life uh, is not in your hands. Uh, my life uh, is in the hands of God. Uh, and 
if it is if uh, I am a apple tree, uh, you can't stop uh, apple season uh, from coming. Uh, if uh, I'm an orange tree, uh, you can't stop uh, orange tree, uh, orange season uh, from coming. Uh, if uh, I'm a peach tree, uh, you can't stop uh, peach season uh, from coming. Oh, so baby, here it is. Uh, you ought to shout, get ready. Uh, it's about to happen. Amen. Uh, ain't nothing uh, you can do uh, to stop what God has for my life. Uh, because when God uh, is leaning uh, in my direction, uh, my season uh, is on the way. Uh, tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, uh, it's my season. Uh, and it ain't nothing uh, nobody can do about it. Uh, Doggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is. But not only did that, Gwen, they have a problem with your seed. What? I'm making it make sense. Can you make it make sense? Tree? Tree. Huh? The problem they have with you is that uh, you got the unmitigated goal to produce fruit with seed in it. You, you missed it. You missed it. You got it? I, I said again. Uh, you have uh, the unmitigated goal uh, to produce fruit uh, with seed in it. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, you hate no me. Uh, but whatever I produce uh, got seed in it. Amen. Uh, which means if I... Uh, I'm a peach tree uh, and I produce uh, peaches. Uh, every peach uh, that I produce uh, got seed in it. Uh, Y'all quiet up in him, uh, which means uh, there's potential uh, for more of us. Uh, if I got a debt free seed uh, inside of me, uh, it, uh, it means uh, I got. Oh, my God. I got generational blessings inside of me. I wish I had somebody up in here who would just shout out, everywhere I go, I just keep producing blessings. Every room I walk in, I keep producing blessings. Every row I sit on, I keep producing blessings. Look down your row uh, and say baby uh, you sit on the right row today because uh, seeds uh, are being produced uh, in this hour oh my god uh, tell somebody everywhere uh, the soles uh, of my foot tread uh, everything uh, I touch uh, everything uh, I put my name on uh, God's uh, got a blessing for it Listen. glory to God Somebody ought to receive that. Uh, everything uh, I produce, uh, sometimes uh, all you got to do uh, is be in the atmosphere uh, to receive uh, the blessing uh, that's in the room. Don't tell me. It ain't important uh, where you go to church. Uh, oh, yes, it is. Uh, because well, uh, when, you can, when you can tell uh, that the anointing uh, and the glory of God uh, rest in a place, uh, it's important uh, where you go to church uh, and who covers you. Listen. The enemy want to cut you uh, to control you. Hmm. Satan has concluded, all right, tree. All right, Job, I'm coming for you. I'm going to cut you down. And the effort it is uh, to limit your progress. See, uh, this is what you got to understand. Uh, 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 the enemy uh, was not after Job's uh, uh, right now. Uh, he was after Job's uh, not yet. 
let me say it again. Uh, the enemy uh, was not after Job uh, right now. Uh, he was after Job uh, not yet. Say it again, Pastor. Uh, he, but you like, well, Pastor, uh, Job had everything. I mean, uh, I mean, he had, he was a big baller uh, and a shot caller. Uh, but, but you don't realize something. Uh, even uh, when you think you have arrived, uh, you don't realize uh, you just scratched the surface uh, of what God want to do. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, uh, you're going to be tired of me for the end of this service. Uh, but I have been deputized uh, to tell you uh, uh, that God is about to do exceedingly, uh, abundantly, uh, above all uh, you can ask, dream, uh, think, uh, or imagine. Uh, your haters uh, are hating on you right now. Uh, they don't know. Uh, God ain't even uh, scratched the surface uh, of what he gonna do huh? they gonna lose their mind huh? when God finally do huh? what God said he gonna do huh? you wanna give God huh, an advanced praise huh, for the blessings huh, for the favor huh, that's coming huh, in your life huh? open up your mouth huh, and give God praise and so and so, and so, the enemy, he begins to cut. And he, I don't care how many scriptures uh, you know. Nobody likes to be cut. Y'all quiet up in here. Uh, I don't care uh, how good you sing. Uh, nobody likes uh, to be cut. I don't care uh, how good you pray. Uh, nobody likes uh, to be cut. And so uh, he begins to cut uh, one blow uh, after. I'm, I'm talking to somebody uh, right now because here it is. Uh, your life seems to be uh, one cut uh, after another. Uh, and the enemy uh, is under the illusion uh, that if he cuts you down, uh, that's the beginning uh, of the end for you. Uh, but you ought to send the devil a message uh, on this morning uh, that we are not that kind of tree. Because, uh, baby, uh, if you cut me get uh, uh, down, uh, you got to realize uh, there's hope uh, in this tree. Uh, and he, I'm not hoping as if uh, it's not going to show up, uh, but I'm hoping knowing uh, my hope Hope is built uh, on nothing less uh, than Jesus' blood uh, and righteousness. Uh, I dare not trust uh, the sweetest frame, uh, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. Somebody ought to shout out, uh, there's hope in this tree. Uh, oh, uh, when trouble comes, uh, there's hope uh, in this tree. Uh, when pain comes, uh, there's hope uh, in this tree. Uh, I'm not going to tuck my tail uh, and roll over, uh, but I'm going to keep on uh, giving God glory even through my rough season. It is. It is. There's hope in this tree, and that's why... I want you to see the potential in spiritual resilience. Oprah, Oprah Winfrey says, I've seen someone best show up when they are under intense pressure. When the walls are closing in and there's nowhere to grow but upward. Hey, my God. I, Sometimes uh, when your back is up against uh, the wall and you have nowhere else to turn uh, and you didn't even know, uh, my God, you can pray uh, like you pray. Amen. Have you ever been in there? Uh, have you ever found uh, yourself in a tight place? Amen. Uh, and here it is. Uh, here it is. Uh, you didn't have uh, no pastor. Uh, you didn't have uh, no deacon there, huh? but, but you begin to utter them huh, out of your own mouth. Huh? You begin to talk to God huh, in your heavenly language. Amen. You didn't even know huh, you could pray like that. He did, uh, sometimes I get to riding uh, all by myself and I start uh, singing praises uh, unto God. Amen. Uh, thanking God. Uh, it is uh, not just for uh, my good times, uh, but thanking God uh, for bringing me through uh, my bad times. Uh, and, and so here it is. Uh, Joe 
Job, uh, oh my God, uh, puts his human condition uh, in context. Amen. Uh, sometimes you got to put things uh, in context. Uh, he had lost children. Uh, he had lost uh, all his resources. Uh, and Job uh, puts things uh, in, in, in a human context. Uh, he says, uh, naked uh, I came into the earth. Uh, and naked uh, I will return. Uh, the Lord giveth uh, and the Lord uh, took y'all quiet right through him. Uh, you got to understand, uh, people of God, uh, you came him uh, with nothing uh, and you're going to leave him uh, with nothing. Amen. Uh, I promise you uh, there will not be a U-Haul uh, pulled up uh, behind your hearse. Uh, you got to recognize uh, the same God uh, that gave it to you uh, the first time uh, is the same God uh, that will turn around uh, and give it back to you uh, again uh, but this time uh, it'll be better uh, than the last time so you can chop me down but I still got a chance here it is you look and you look through the the book of Job Job dad keeps giving us evidence that he's coming back oh somebody ought to shout this evidence that I'm coming back. Amen. Uh, you look at it, Job going through all these struggles. Uh, he's having intense pain. Uh, and Job says something like, uh, I know uh, my Redeemer lives. Uh, Y'all don't know how to shout. Amen. Uh, I mean, he's going, I mean, I mean, Job is having uh, a very, very uh, bad day. Uh, but the Job says, uh, I know uh, my Redeemer. I, I know uh, that God uh, is living looking down on me. Amen. I know, I know, I know uh, that God's hand uh, is on me. Then he tells his, fr uh, his friends, uh, should we only accept good uh, and not bad from God? Y'all quiet right through here. Amen. B because you think uh, that God is uh, the tooth fairy. Amen. Uh, here it is. Uh, sometimes uh, God will allow uh, some bad things to happen uh, to your life. Uh, why, Pastor? to Quinn, uh, to draw you uh, closer uh, unto him. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh. And so he's going through all of this uh, pain, uh, but here it is. Uh, he has a sense uh, that God is there. He says uh, he says, a man born of a woman uh, is of a few days uh, and full of trouble. Uh, but, but, but all of my appointed days, uh, I'm going to wait uh, until my change comes. Here it is. Uh, here it is. He knows uh, that God uh, is in control. But then he says, uh, he says, he says, he says, uh, he says, don't uh, you slay me, uh, yet uh, will I trust. I wonder, uh, do I got anybody here uh, who will testify? Uh, I've been through uh, some tight places, uh, had some bad things uh, that happened uh, in my life, uh, but yet uh, I still trust God. Amen. I, I don't trust uh, in Cavassier. I don't uh, trust uh, in weed. I don't trust in other drugs. My trust is in God. Here it is. I look to the hills from which cometh my help because all of my help come from God. Somebody shout, I still, I still have a chance. No, say it loud. Say, I still got a chance. And then I shout through it all. I'm still here. Oh, you could have lost your mind. But through it all, you are still him. You could have caved in and capitulated. But through it all, you still him. You could have waved the white flag. But through it all, you are still him. Job could have cussed God out. Job could have left God. I mean, after everything, I've been faithful to you. I've been sure. Showing up, uh, I've been in ministry, uh, and you're gonna do me uh, like this. Uh, but Job says, uh, My trust uh, is still in God. Here it is. 
Oh, I'm preaching to somebody right now. Here it is. You had every justifiable reason to give up on God. You had reason to lose your faith. But today, you ought to recognize that in the midst of it, God has kept you. Somebody ought to tell you, them say, neighbor, he is a keeper. He's been keeping me all the days of my life. Uh, somebody ought to take a moment uh, is to give God glory uh, as to still here. Amen. Uh, people uh, are looking uh, for miracle signs and wonders uh, but, but say neighbor uh, I'm a miracle uh, standing right beside you. Uh, just to be healed uh, is a miracle. I'm looking at miracles. Uh, I'm looking at miracles. Uh, I'm looking at miracles. Uh, some of you uh, were on your sick bed. Amen. Uh, but I'm looking at miracles. Uh, some of you uh, had bad things to happen uh, in your life. Uh, but God turning around. Uh, somebody ought to shout, uh, I'm a miracle. Oh, man. <laughs> Somebody ought to praise God just for being present. Amen. Just for being present. Amen. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the devil really uh, tried to bury you. Uh, but just for showing up, uh, you ought to give God glory uh, that his hand uh, is still on your life. Can I tell you, I'm almost home now. Uh, uh, but can I tell you uh, why you're still here? Uh, it's because uh, uh, you got strong roots. Uh, somebody shout, I got strong roots. Amen. Uh, here it is. Uh, the, the devil uh, was cutting uh, your relationships. Uh, he was cutting uh, your job. Uh, he was cutting uh, your money. But here it is. Uh, Job says, uh, don't trip out because uh, the roots uh, wax old uh, in the earth. Uh, what are you saying, Pastor? Uh, you want to give God glory uh, for your mother, uh, for your father, uh, for your grandparents uh, who took you to church uh, when you didn't want to go to church. Y'all quiet right through here. Amen. Uh, you sat back down uh, on the back row uh, eating uh, bubble gum uh, and playing. Uh, but one day uh, you heard a scripture uh, one day uh, you heard a song uh, and when things uh, start happening uh, in your life uh, you remember uh, those songs uh, that trouble uh, don't last always somebody uh, oh uh, there's a lily uh, in the valley uh, bright uh, as the morning start uh, somebody uh, remember uh, sitting in church uh, and you didn't really want to be there uh, and somebody uh, said a scripture uh, oh my god uh, that change uh, your life um, uh, forever. Uh, that, that you will uh, have affliction, uh, but be a good cheer. Because uh, God uh, has overcome the world. Uh, you ought to give God glory uh, for the roots uh, that God allowed you to have. And that's why, that's why you got to stay grounded. Talk about that in 9 to 30. Here it is, uh, uh, here it is because uh, when when trouble starts happening, people get flighty. Uh, you start trying to run uh, to different zip codes uh, to avoid uh, what's going on. Uh, but here it is. Uh, here, may, may, may I tell you, uh, the problem uh, is not the zip code. Uh, the problem is you. Amen. Uh, here it is. Uh, the problem uh, you got in Columbus uh, is the same problem uh, as in Atlanta. Amen. Uh, and the problem uh, as in Atlanta uh, is the problem that's in Huntsville too. Uh, you got to learn uh, how to deal uh, with the problem uh, where you are. Because uh, you don't realize uh, you like a tree uh, planted by the waters uh, that will bring forth fruit uh, in your season. You got to be uh, steadfast, uh, immovable, uh, always abounding uh, in the work of the Lord, uh, knowing that uh, your labor is in vain. I didn't go. Somebody shout, I'm growing. Shout, I'm growing. 
That's a good place to shout right there. I'm growing. Don't, don't tell me. Don't, don't, don't tell me that where you go to church don't matter. It, 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 you hear this, hear this, you ought to hear, you ought not be the same Christian th- this year that you were last year because you're growing. Because somebody is sowing a, a word into your life. And, and never, it is a, never discount uh, uh, the word here. Because somewhere in the, in the sermon, uh, God going to say something uh, that directly uh, affects your life. Eh? Amen. Here it is. Uh, can, can I show you how uh, you, uh, you were growing? Here it is. Uh, uh, five years ago, uh, you would have gone through something uh, and you would have lost your mind. Amen. Uh, but, but now that you've grown, uh, you laugh at it uh, and say, I'm better uh, than I was uh, five years ago. Uh, five years ago, uh, you would have caught a case uh, if somebody had a did that uh, to you on your job. Uh, oh, but now you just will walk in uh, and say, I'm praying uh, for you. Amen. I, I've grown. You hear this? Uh, your enemies uh, ought to be glad uh, that you've grown. Amen. I say your enemies ought to be glad that you've grown. Amen. Listen, I got to give you the fifth thing. There's more to you than what they see. Can I just talk to you for a second? I'm not going to scream. Not going. Not going. Not going. Not going. Go. Think about this. People think that you are the sum total of what they see. Now, in all honesty, you have contributed to that. You made them think that you were blessed just because you got a new car. You made them think you were blessed just because you got a new house. And it is, but because you posted it on Facebook. But. And it is, I'm just, I'm just wrapping with you, with me and you. God has no problem with you having the new car. Drive, Negro, drive. I got car. Salesman in here, go buy a car from them today. Got no problem with you having a new car. God has no problem with you having a new house. God has no problem with you having drip. Again, if you don't know what drip is, just go ask somebody at the service. Amen. But that's not the sum total of who you are. You see, people don't realize if all of that get chopped down, uh, you still uh, are a child of God. Y'all quiet up in here. Uh, you can have your dream car. Uh, you can have uh, your dream house. Uh, and it all get taken away. Uh, but God want to know, uh, will you still worship me uh, when everything is gone? Oh, glory to God. You got some people uh, who drive their dream car uh, into a gated community uh, only to go home and be strung out on drugs. Y'all quiet up in here. Uh, you got people uh, who go into a beautiful house and not speak to the people uh, that they are living with. Y'all quiet up in here. Amen. Uh, how in the world uh, can you make that kind of money uh, and still be depressed? Uh, it's because uh, you put your hope uh, in things uh, and then put your hope uh, in God. Uh, these uh, will never make you happy. Uh, God uh, will give you joy. Uh, unspeakable joy. You better preach the day you bald headed man. God gives you joy. This joy I have. The world didn't give it to me. Oh, y'all don't know. This joy I have, 
The world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. Glory to God. And here it is. Here it is. He says, and he says, he says, yet through the scent of rain, you going to bounce back. Hey, man, somebody shout, I smell the rain. No, you ain't. You ain't. Somebody shout, I I smell, y'all, man, I wish I had me a church on the day on November 17th, uh, 2024. Somebody shout, uh, I smell the rain. Uh, I'll say it like that. I smell the rain. Uh, and the Bible says uh, that Job will cut down, uh, but, but, then God, but, but, but then God uh, will turn around uh, and bless Job, uh, yet uh, at the scent of rain. Uh, have you considered uh, that perhaps uh, in in the most difficult seasons uh, of your life uh, that God was releasing uh, the greatest oil uh, for your life. Oh, preach queen. Uh, have you considered uh, that the anointing uh, that comes out of your life uh, comes uh, at the most challenging seasons uh, of your life? Uh, I come to declare, uh, I smell uh, the rain. Oh, glory. Look down your row uh, and say, neighbor, get ready. Uh, it's about the rain. Hey, man, uh, I come to declare uh, that you may have been cut down, uh, but God is about to send rain uh, in your direction. Uh, somebody shout again, I smell the rain. Uh, that everything uh, that's been cut down uh, is about to grow back. Uh, and the question uh, I have for you is this. Uh, will you shout uh, for what's on the way. Amen. I said, would you give God glory for what's about to be delivered? Breakthrough is on the way. Miracles are on the way. Would somebody help me lift them up and say, I smell the rain. I said, somebody say, I smell the rain. Now somebody shout, it's raining. It's raining. I smell the rain. It's raining. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yet at the center rain. Yet at the center rain. You, 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 you know. For you little and your grandma mama would say, but baby, I feel like it's about to rain. She said, baby, I feel like it's about to rain. Now there's not a cloud huh, in the sky, but she got an auction from the Holy Spirit. That it's about to, to rain. Say, baby, uh, uh, my knees are aching. Oh, y'all quiet. Amen. Uh, my joints uh, are aching. Uh, and I feel like uh, it's about to rain. I, I wonder, uh, do you have grandmama uh, kind of faith? Uh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, you ain't heard nothing yet. Uh, but you can shout out uh, the rain is on the way. It's on the way. Listen, I want everybody to stand. Glory to God. Listen. Reggie, the most important part of this text is that Job went through drama and trauma. But when he gets to chapter 42, again, you ought to read the whole chapter. God gives him twice as much. Y'all don't know when to shout. God, God, God gives him twice as much that he had in the first place. Oh, my God. Do me a favor. One, one last time. Look at somebody and just tell them uh, my comeback will be greater than my setback. Look at somebody and tell them my comeback will be greater than my 
setback. There's such an anointing for double uh, in this place. Uh, it is you want to start praying uh, that God going to send double, uh, not just to your life, uh, but God is sending double uh, to everybody you're connected to. Uh, look at him and say, neighbor, uh, w w can we agree? Uh, can we touch and agree? Uh, that double uh, is on the way. Oh, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. Double is on the way. God's going to give you double for your trouble. Glory to God. Glory to God. I smell the rain. I smell the rain. It's going to take more than that to take me. I smell the rain, baby. I smell the rain, baby. And God's about to give me double huh, for my trouble. I, I, I smell the rain. I smell the rain. I leave her alone. I smell the rain. I smell the rain. I smell the rain. I smell the rain. God, we bless you. Through many dangers. Him, like him, like him. Uh, through many dangers, Gwen, I know you like him too. Uh, toes and snares. I have uh, already come. It was grace that brought me uh, safe thus far. And great will lead me on. Yee. If you ain't never been through nothing, you probably looking crazy right now. Why in the world are they screaming like that? Why are they lifting their hands like that? Why are they clapping like that? But when you know uh, what we have been through uh, just to get to this place. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Listen. Listen, the, the enemy has tried to take you out. He has used every scheme possible to try to make you surrender. Here's the blessing. I, I keep, the, the blessing is God offered Job up. God offered you up. Have you considered my servant? God put his reputation on the line because he believed he could trust you. He could trust you. He can trust you with trouble, with trial. People don't even know, man, because they look at your material stuff. Look at what you're driving, where you live, and what you're wearing. They come to all kind of conclusions at what they think your life has been. It's a poem I say that my life ain't been no crystal star. You had thorns and tacks. Life ain't been easy for any of us. Don't come to the conclusion about me. You don't, you haven't read their book. You don't know what they've been going through. But yet God allowed them to be here today. God, I thank you. I thank you. As we stand here today on the brink, we made it safe. We are a little scarred up. But we made it. I got a couple of bruises on my knees, but I made it. You are here today because God has kept you. God has covered you. God kept his hands around you and didn't let the enemy have his way in your life. And because of that, 
you ought to make a decision today to give God your best. Give God your life. You ought to surrender today. My, my, my brother, God is, God is leaning into your th- direction. If you are a man in here, God, God is God is, God is leading in your direction in this season to lead your family in a godly way. And you may not know it all, and that's good. But you know where to come to get your instructions. Amen? Maybe you hear you say, Pastor, I'm not saved. That's, that's okay. All of us have been at that place. But God wants to be in relationship with you today. Today is a good day to make Jesus your choice. He's been looking out for you all of your life. He's kept you to this place. And even through our wrongs, God still showed his hand of love. Even through our mistakes and wrong turns, God still showed his love. Listen, if you are up under my sound of my voice now, I want you, I want you to ask your neighbor and say, neighbor, are you saved? If you are under the sound of my voice and you're not saved, God wants you to be in relationship with him today. Amen. Wants you to take that step of faith and join this community. Join this covenant of believers. Amen. If you're here and you're not saved. You can come now. If you hear you, you need to rededicate your life to God. God is calling you home right now. Come on, brother. I, I knew it. I God been. I, I, God, God. Open the floodgates of heaven. else here who needs to rededicate their life. Amen. Give their life to God. Amen. Come on. Hey guys, I want y'all to stand here with him. I want y'all to stand here with him. Stand here with him. Amen. Stand here with him. Amen. Amen. Here you need to rededicate your life to God. God is calling you home today. Amen. Let's do it today. Amen. Today. 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 You hear you say, Pastor, I need a church home. You at the right place. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. God bless you. I need a church home. I feel like I can grow here. I can be who God has called me to be. God, we God, we thank you. God, we thank you. Do me a favor. Look at the look at your the neighbor. Say, neighbor, do you have a church home? Tell them this is a good place to be. It's a good place to be. Amen. We're going to help you grow to be who God has called you to be. Amen. God, we thank you. Thank you for answering prayer. Thank you for the people who are at this altar who have put feet to faith. God, I, I, I thank you for their life, Father God. God, we pray right now, Father God, over them. That this will be the, the first day of, of the rest of their life, Father God. That renewal, restoration, and revival will touch their life, Father God. And that they will be witnesses to who you are. God bless I plead the blood over their life. Satan, we bind you. You have no authority over their life. But God, you be magnified in everything that they say and do. Come on, give God glory. Amen. Listen, my brother, my sister, follow her. Huh? Okay, 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 okay. We'll get you afterwards, okay? Just, just stay, just stay. Okay, come on, give, come on, give God praise. Amen. Come on, give 
God praise God is doing a marvelous work. God is doing a marvelous work in our children as well. I brag on them, but then I also brag on God. We have a team ministry, a group of teens who are being witnesses, who are sharing their faith to the point that their peers want to know who is this Jesus? Who is this Jesus you keep talking about? God keeps doing the amazing. Look at all these teens in here. Amen? Let me tell you guys something. Keep doing what you're doing. God is very proud of the work that you are doing. I'm very proud of the work that you're doing. Keep being a witness and talking about the goodness of God. God, we thank you for this vessel, for this child, for this team. We thank you, Father God. She had faith enough to believe, Father God. God, and confess you as Lord and Savior of her life, Father God. God, we pray over her life, Father God. We pray blessings and favor that every with the soles of her foot tread, that she'll be a witness, Father God, of your goodness. Say it and we bind you. You have no authority over this vessel, but God, you be magnified and glorified in everything that she says. Come on, give God glory. Amen. Oh, bless his name. Get her with uh, Linda. And, uh, and amen. Come on, hug on her. That's right. Hug on her. Amen. Hug on her. Amen. Let her know how proud, how proud you are. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. Amen. God, we thank you. Amen. God bless y'all. Amen. Come on. God, come on. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Amen. Amen. Y'all can go back and uh, y'all can got to stand or sit or something. Amen. And watch this baptism. Amen. We ready? Okay. We ready? Amen. Go, go with you. Go, go, go with her. Go, go with her. Go with her. Go with her. She's going to get you, get you squared away. Now one. It's okay. All right. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. You can be seated. Amen. the one who's coming, amen, for the baptism, amen. Brandon, I got a little Baptist in me. Can we, can we, can we go to the water? You go to the water with me. Go to the water. Take me to the water.
God, you are so amazing that we have the opportunity, Father God, that people, that men and women and children will make a decision to put their hope and trust in God and you, Father God, and believe that you are the living Savior, Father God. My sister, up under confession of your faith, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Can I, can I brag on God, amen? Can I brag on God, amen? I think that in the last three months that we have baptized about 20-some people, amen. That's, come on, somebody. Amen, amen. amen. That, that's something to shout about, amen. That's, amen, amen, amen. That is, amen, God is good. Amen, it's giving time, Amen. Amen. It's giving time. Amen. Amen. We have, we have, we have, we have, we have worshiped. We had got the word, and now we got to worship God through our giving. Amen. Amen. God requires the the best of us in every area of our time, our talent, and our tithe. Amen. And so I want you now to prepare your hearts uh, for tithes and offerings. Amen. There are several ways for you to give. You can give. Uh, via your smartphone, right from your smartphone, by texting the word NDCI to the number 77977. Again, that's NDCI to 77977. You can give via Cash App. Our Cash App handle is dollar sign, New Destiny, C O L G A. You can give via Zelle, and amen. You can use the church email, amen, NDCI TV at gmail.com. Or you can do it the old-fashioned way. Put your, put your money in the envelope, amen, and bring your money on down to the altar. Amen. Come on, let's give. Amen. 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 God, we thank God for you. We thank God for you. Amen. Give God your very best. Amen. Because God has given you his very best. Amen. Amen. We thank God for you. We thank God for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hey, man. Hey, preacher. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God is so amazing. Amen. God is so amazing. Amen. We thank God for it. Amen. Thank God for it. Amen. Amen. Is that everyone? Is that everyone? Is that everyone? Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you, Father God, for every hand that is given, Father God. Now, God, on the backside of our giving, Father God, we ask God your blessings, Father God, upon our life, Father God. Cover us, keep us, and protect us, Father God. I pray right now for jobs and better jobs, raises and bonuses, sales and commission. In Jesus' name we pray. Let your heart say amen. Say amen again. Say amen one more time. Amen. What a good day, what a good, I tell y'all it's going to be a good day, amen, amen, it does not fail, amen, what a good day, amen, amen, um, I want to, I want to, I did not, 
did not formally tell you, but, but I told you, I kind of, kind of in passing, uh, we had to purchase a new uh, heating and air unit on the other side. Amen. If you know anything about me, I'm very transparent. Amen. I don't, I don't, I don't hold anything from the church. Amen. So I want you to know. Um, and that unit cost us a little bit over twenty four thousand dollars. Amen. But but isn't it good to know that we had the money? I ain't had to ask y'all for nothing. Like, y'all, y'all quiet. That's a that's a blessing. Amen. I had to had to raise no offering. Amen. You ought to give glory to God for, 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 for that. Amen. I didn't say twenty four, I said twenty four thousand. Amen. Amen. But now uh it should it's it's hot over there. Amen. Amen. It's hot and it's gonna be cool, amen. Um, but but I wanna I, I wanna caveat that and 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 thank you uh, for your dedication uh, to this ministry and and your obedience to God, Amen. And not your obedience to me, but your obedience to God, Amen. That that, that you continue uh, to tithe and sow here, and uh, and and I am I am I am I am grateful. Uh, for that, amen. I told you on last Sunday, amen, that we are now a debt-free church, amen. You ought to, you ought to shout, uh, and, amen, glory to God, amen, amen, amen. And, and there again, I told uh, my dad, I said, for 16 years, for 16 years, some of you haven't been there the whole ride, but some of the ride, but for 16 years, the people show up every time amen every time amen and so uh l- l- last week we were able to uh complete that debt free project amen and so man but we are we're grateful for that amen uh new members new members it's important uh, that you that you get to new members class amen it's important that you get there but not only that you get there, that, that, that you start uh, uh, positioning your mind to figure out what you're going to do in God's kingdom. Because God didn't call you here just to look at me on Sunday. Well, what, are, what are you, how are you going to add value to God's kingdom? Amen? Amen. You have some gift, you have some talent, amen, to add to God's kingdom. Amen. And so as you go through class, you're going to be asked, 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 uh, uh, what shall you render unto uh, the Lord? Amen. Amen. And you should be able to render something. Amen. So uh, let's get ready. Those classes now are the first Wednesday, second Wednesday, and fourth Wednesday of the month. All right. All right. I think that we are off in Bible study. Um, and I heard that you guys had a phenomenal prayer on Wednesday. Amen. Oh, man, I heard it was, I heard, I wasn't here, but I heard it was on fire. Amen. 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 Uh, just so you know, parents, just for information only, uh, the team ministry is the first and the third Sunday of every month. Children's Church is uh, the first and second uh, excuse me, it's the, it's the second and fourth. Amen? Amen. But they're going to, but in the new year, they are moving to a new schedule. So I'll tell you that later. Amen? Amen. That's all I have. Amen. What, what a great day we had. Amen. Hey, come on, Gwen. I, I got you. Come on, Gwen. Come on, Gwen. We got some, got some books to hand out. Amen? Come on. God bless you. God bless you. Give a shout out to them as they come. Can we get some music? Thank you. Okay. Patricia Adams. I think she may be in the back with her daughter. <laughs> Melanie Carr. Clap, clap. Y'all not clapping. Clap. Yeah. Yolanda Arnold. Timothy Walker. Ron Carr with a nice truck. He got a nice truck, y'all. Shamaya Adams. And 
we also have a baptism certificate we need to get out. Um, Sarika Adams, who was just baptized, she may be in the back. James Thomas, is James here? Josiah Williams. Oh, see, they got baptized. Okay. All right, that's it. All right, uh-huh. Thank you. Come on, give them a hand. Amen. How you doing? Okay. okay. So we have a so we have a, a video uh, to show you. Amen. 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 Let's grow and get illuminated. Amen. Listen here. If you are not signed up for the Illuminate Conference and you are a member of New Living Church, you are wrong. Amen. You are you are just you 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 wrong. Amen. No, no, but seriously, all seriousness, I I I I want I, I need you. I need you at yes, sir, the lights. Uh I need you at the Illuminate Conference. Uh, that's going to be the first Saturday in de December at 10 a.m. It's going to be a powerful time. It, I, I believe it's going to position our church uh, really for where God is trying to take us. But I need you there. I need you there. So if you have not registered yet, there's still time to register. Um, you can, they'll be back at the back, at, back at the back, and they can get you registered today. But ma'am, sir, ma'am, sir. Please do not leave here today without registering uh, for the Illuminate Conference. Now, this is for members only. Amen. That was an old uh, blue song to call this, but members only. Amen. And members only tonight. Uh, uh, but this conference is just for members only. Uh, and uh, But I need you guys to get signed up. Amen. Amen. Today. Today. All right. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, if you are visiting, amen, we thank God. Come on, clap for our visitors, amen. Come on, clap real good, amen. Yeah, we have visitors reception. Uh, you go out those double doors, hang a left, go to the third door on your right-hand side. Somebody will be there to receive you and just welcome you and pray with you, amen. Got a special guest today, amen, they special to to me, amen, my family, my extended family, Reverend Rudy Allen Jr., amen, Rudy Allen III, amen, and my sister in love, amen, Regina Allen, God bless you guys, amen, so good to see you, amen, amen, God bless you, amen, God bless you, amen, well, that's all, come on, let's stand, come on, let's stand, and uh, if you don't mind me taking some pastoral prayers, I'm going to ask my nephew, uh, Rudy Allen the third to come and do the prayer. Amen. 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 Let's pray. 
Father God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for this day you are. God, we thank you for this church. Bless these pastors. Bless this family, oh God. Just have your way. Give yourself a full time. We all say amen. 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 Come on, give God praise. Amen. Hey, look. Look. God bless you. God keep you.